Hey, it's Craig Martinez, and I wanted to shoot in this video uh, to create how to create picture memes for posts on social media. So, with that said, I'm going to go right into it. Uh, I'm not going to take too much of your time here on this video. I want to just show you how you can create picture memes on for for posts inside of social media. Like I said, um, and you can do it a number of ways. The first way I'm going to show you is through a way that you probably have on your computer, a free program, something like. Uh, like what I'm going to show you here, what I'm going to use is actually a Kingsoft presentation. You can use a Microsoft PowerPoint to do the same thing, or you can even go and find some online. And I'm going to show you that too. Okay, so the way you can create a a picture meme for posts on social media through through your PowerPoint software, if you're using a Microsoft computer, right, Windows, um, or if you're using a Mac, whatever program it is that's similar to to that uh, software. I happen to use Kingsoft presentation because I like the Kingsoft uh, Office Suite tools. You can go and get that for free online. So if you don't have it, you can have something to work with right there. So here, here's what we're going to do is I opened up a new uh, presentation, so to speak, or PowerPoint, right, if you're using that. And uh, on the, you know, it only shows the first or, or one slide that you can actually start, you know, um, you know, moving around or, or actually start uh, creating something, right? So what I want to do is I want to I want to actually delete this. I want to delete this out. So I'm going to cut it, and then I'm going to cut this one as well. So we can have a little fresh slate. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go to Insert, and I'm going to go to Graphics, and I'm going to do From File. And so I'm going to go to my pictures, and I'm going to choose just some random picture. Just a you know a, a lot of the times what I see is people will have real pretty like wallpaper type pictures. You know, something like a sunset or or sunrise or some kind of nature, or beach or whatnot, right? Something relaxing, something soothing in the eyes of your of your audience. And then what they do is they'll put a quote right here, so you can easily start typing in a quote here. And here's what you do: is since now the picture's there, now you can go to insert again, and you can go to text box, and you can do horizontal. Right, and then you can just choose where it is that you'd like the text to actually appear. So I want the text to be right in the middle, right? Now the box looks like it's going to be a big old box that you that you can type in. However, it goes right to like a little uh, one-line deal. So what you can do is start typing your quote there. But here's what I do. Okay, unless I already have a quote directly from a book or something, here's what I do is I, I end up going online and finding a quote. And so I'm going to show you where we can do that. So you know, you go to Google, type in motivational, type in inspirational, type in maybe the name of an author or, or the name of, uh, you know, someone famous, a successful person that you're following, and you can go and get a direct quote from them. And so what I did was I just typed in motivational quotes, and when I type them on images, here's another, another uh, you know, real easy way to get some picture memes that are already created, right? You can just go and choose whichever ones that you resonate with and go and you know download those and, and upload them again. Now what you want to do, and, and I highly encourage you to do this, is if it's not something that you think is going to be copyrighted, make sure you kind of pay attention to what it is that you're that you're downloading, right? Obviously. But like this, say this one right here, this Mark Twain, Mark Twain quote. Somebody wrote this on a notepad and then they posted the picture that they took of it up online. And so things like this, I don't hesitate to download these at all and upload them myself, right? and or you can create your own. So what, what you can do is you can look at the quote that you see here, go open up a little notepad file, and I just go and copy the quote. So I'll do, and I'll even put it in quotations, right? So the two most important oops, days, geez, I can't type right now in your life are the day you are oops, where are we at? Let me make this box a little bit smaller so that way you can kind of see I mean it's pretty easy I'm just typing whatever it is that I see over here so you are born and the day you find out why. Cool quote, right, by Mark Twain. And then I'm going to go and put who said it, all right? And now I can just go copy and paste. So I hit Control-All, 
Control C, I copy it, move it over here. I'm going to go back to my my file, right? And I'm going to place my cursor there, and Control V, and now I've pasted the code in there. Now here's here's what's cool is that you can go and alter um, the the way it looks right inside the picture. So you can go choose your font. I like to use Impact, but there's a bunch of different ones that you can choose, and then you can obviously make the uh, font size bigger so let's go with I'm gonna go with 36 because it's a pretty big picture maybe even further than that let's do 48 let's see what that looks like Ooh, it's too big okay so let's do 44 boom okay and then you can go and change the color as well so you go right over here to where the font color is at and you can make it black white or you can choose more colors I like to work with different colors and uh, you know just kind of make it uh, look like it's supposed to be there right like it goes with the colors um, let's do let's do a light uh, let's just see what this looks like I'm not sure what it's going to look like let's do this yeah that's not I figured that wasn't going to come out so let's we're going to use a dark color obviously right so we're going to go with black just just to save some time on this video and maybe we have to move it you know what white's probably the best to use. let's see what white looks like Nope. There's got to be a color we can use. Let's do, let's do orange and see how that looks. Man, this is just not working out, is it? <laughs> you know what? We probably have to move the text over. So let's move the box a little bit over. You can do that too. You should be able to do that. Yeah, there we go. So now let's see if we use a black that comes out better. And it looks, you know, you get the gist of it, right? You can change up some of the words. Here, here's what I've done too, is, uh, you know, since I know where my text is at, I can do this. I've had to do this on a couple of them where, where, where you can't really see the words. You can change, change out. Uh, you can change out some of the words to, to fit, uh, you know, to bring the color out in them if you have to. And then I had to do this on a, on a recent one that I created. So, you know, just kind of play around with it and see what works out best for you. And and that's basically the way that you make them. Now what, what you want to do to, to get this photo, right, now that you've created it, is you want to go to, to I use uh, this tool called uh, the snipping tool inside of, inside of Windows. And what it allows me to do is I can click on it and then it'll just open up a deal where I can actually do like a little screenshot of it, right? And now I can save it. And I'm going to do save as in my pictures. I'm going to do uh, tutorial or example. Example of me. Boom. And so now I can go back and navigate directly to that to the picture that I just saved, right? I go to pictures, I go to example, where's my example? Example is somewhere here. There it is, boom, right there. And see, so now it's it's done, it's it's finished. Here's the finished product, right? And now you can go and take this picture and go and post it. Now obviously not this one, right? But you would uh, make it real look real pretty and then turn around and go and post it and then bam, you have a picture. I mean, people can relate to the quote, they can relate to the relaxation of the photo that you're using as the background. And now you have something that may possibly go viral in social media, and everything points back to you. And they think, oh man, you know, you're, you're, uh, you know, this, this great person who shares this awesome information or valuable information. You know, they're gonna come and follow you, like you, um, plus you on Google Plus, all that kind of good stuff. And that's exactly how you do that. So again, you can always go back to going online and seeing ones that pe people have already um, made themselves. Now, like you see here, how somebody put like a little logo or a little. Um, you know, what, whatever whatever name that they're using for business or, or online stuff, right? Now, here's the cool thing about this is you can go and take this picture, right? You can save image as. And again, this is just an example. I'm going to go to pictures and I'm going to, let's see, click on it, pictures. And then I'm going to do example two, right? Example of mean two. Now, here's what I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to take this off. Um, you just basically crop it. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's the gist of it. You know, but I'm going to show you how, how simple that can be. So you're going to go here. You're going to open up your, your pictures, and you're just going to go. Whatever software opens up pictures normally on your computer, 
is the one that I would really use. Um, you can use Microsoft Paint, or you can do Urfan View, which is also a free software that's online. I would highly encourage you to go get that. And here's what you can do: is you can go and make a box, right, out of the quote, leave that part off, and then go to Edit, Crop Selection, or Cut Area Outside of Selection, right? Let's do Crop, and then bam, there you go. Now it's yours. And now, if you want to, you can go write something. You can go take this and put it inside your PowerPoint or your presentation software. And then you can go put your logo or your website or whatever it is that you want. <laughs> and that's just a little sneaky way to uh, make a picture meme. So with that said, thank you so much for being on the video. Hope you got some value out of this. And I hope that you can go create some cool quotes with pictures for, um, you know, to be able to create picture memes so that you can post all over social media and get you some viral followers, likes, and pluses and all that good stuff and have people come in to start viewing more of the information that you post. You inspire somebody, you give value, and that's exactly what people are wanting at the end of the day. If you want more training like this, uh, you can get on my subscriber list uh, for this channel, and or you can follow me on Facebook at fb.me. It's Greg Martinez, slash it's Greg Martinez, and I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like here in just a second. Let me go to my Firefox, and here you go. You can find me there. Find me, I'm Greg Martinez on Facebook, and we'll get connected. So with that, my friends, I will see you on the next video. Peace.